Overall, Team USA doing fairly well in Sochi, but one group uh, from T Team USA that's not doing well is the speed skaters. And in fact, they have not gotten any medals at all, at least up until when we're filming this. And they have an interesting explanation for why that is. It has to do with their clothing. Now, their clo clothing is provided by Under Armour. It's the Mach 39. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it was being sold to them, Under Armour said that it outperformed Nike's Swift suit. That's what they used back in 2002 in Salt Lake City. The company also told the skaters that the new suits were designed specifically for conditions inside Adler Arena Skating Center. That one place apparently has very specific conditions. <laughs> with features like dimples to make the suit slippery in the wind and a slick fabric inside the thighs to reduce friction, which is useful both on some, and off the ice. It has some mesh. Too. Exactly, yes. And so uh, it has special mesh for venting body heat, but the, the actual team and Team USA believes that that might influence their speeds and it could in fact be slowing this, them down. When I started the story, John, I thought that it was, uh, this sounded just super, super whiny. Mm -hmm. But then you look like we have the best speed skater in the world, or one of them anyway, and Shawnee Davis, who's won twice, and, and he finished eighth. And then an, another, the top pure sprinter in the US, Tucker Fredericks, finished 26th. Like we're getting hammered. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah. So they might be onto something. I mean, the differences between gold and tenth is in speed skating fractions is it, of right. Fra yeah. It can be fractions of seconds Did, depending on the distance. Is so. this the team that was supported by that's supported by Stephen Colbert? Doesn't I he? I don't actually know. Who I think he supporting. funds the U.S. male speed skating team. And on an episode earlier this it was week, a hockey team. No, it's speed skating. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. earlier this week they had, oh, what's his name, Buddy, whatever, the old Kids Absolute. in the Hall character. <laughs> <laughs> the super gay kids in the hall I character go and interview them. It was really uh, good. Yeah, okay. I do think I remember him <laughs> filming a video where he was speed skating, so he might be onto yes, something there. Yes. So he's to blame, clearly. He's to, let's all blame Stephen Colbert. Yes. Yeah. So I don't care at all about the Winter Olympics. I've made that clear. But I've actually read two different articles on this, because this I find interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of the mystery, is it the suit or not? And when you read into the details, it's almost certainly the suit. Sounds like it. Because in every other competition, they've done so well and as a team, every single one of them is doing so poorly, I, even well, though they ranked so well in the competitions before. So, but that's not the only variable that's changed yeah, from the last competition to this. Sochi? It could be a local thing. It could be an air thing. It could be food that they ate, or they could be jet lagged from the flight. There are a lot of well other variables. In Sochi, like when they were doing their time trials, was it bad? When they were using warm up outfits that were yeah. different outfits, were they ranked differently? Outfit. Yeah. So they're, they're trying no, to no, fix but they the can't. outfits. They okay, can't. That, that's fine. So some so, of them have a different outfit, yeah. but the, there's, it's an Olympic rule that you must all wear the same outfit if you're on the same team. So they have team. to get all new. So they're getting their old outfits mailed to them, mm -hmm. plus Under Armour, of course, is in a panic. Yeah. Yeah. And they're trying to fix it as best as they can. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see how stitching it up is going to fix it. You know, that's probably going to slow them down even further. I don't know how it works, obviously. And they use Lockheed Martin to help here. <laughs> what are you, crazy? I mean, you see, like, how many things that they screw up for our yeah. military? Well, so that may, <laughs> may not have made them more effective, but I'm sure it added, like, $500 million to the cost. Yeah. You're right. telling me exactly. that, that Under Armour in this panic, because now they're like, we don't know if we're going to put on new suits or not. Obviously, they should put on new suits. There's no harm in putting new suits suits on for the rest of the Olympics. And you're telling me that Under Armour can't get 5,700 Malaysians working like 36 straight hours to get these suits done? Well, That's what uh, these people do. But they I'm don't sure. want new Under Armour suits. They want to go back to Nike. Yeah. So, so, right. so here's my takeaway from someone who's not actively watching the Winter Olympics. I watch the summer to some extent because I like women's gymnastics. That's about it. So when I looked at this and J.R. Jackson in the production meeting agreed with me, if the difference between one suit and another is the difference between first place and 27th place, then maybe you should have them wear all the same suit. No, thank like, you. Like, if you had a bat that lets you just, like, 500 yards, <laughs> is that a long hit in baseball? We don't say yards in baseball. Okay, <laughs> meters, whatever. <laughs> if, if it just lets you every time. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part of the story. Okay. <laughs> okay, but, okay, so let's say that the difference between one pair of shorts in volleyball was the difference between being blocked and not being blocked. Volleyball. They wouldn't let you wear those shorts. I actually yeah. play volleyball. Right. Yeah. It shouldn't be, it's supposed to be about the let's athletes. Let's say you're playing croquet. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're mallet. <laughs> no, okay, all right. Is look, this look. irrational as someone no, who doesn't no, watch no, 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 I, I no, no I'll go further. Ultimately. I'll go further. So, and, and JR used to run track at USC's, mm -hmm. and, and so he has some experience in how clothes can affect you when you're running in different, uh, so, and he was a really great yeah. track star, so, uh, so he would know, but, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but look, I think this invalidates 
the, the whole sport. sport. But yeah. not just the whole sport, but many sports. Because like, oh, the US team normally does great. That we do. But apparently it's because we have the better suits. Yeah, I so know. like, how's Ghana going to compete with us in speed skating? There's no way they're going to have as yeah. good of suits as us. You know what the I'm difference sure is Ghana between first and 26? Pretty sure Ghana can't compete with us in speed skating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fair. Perhaps yeah. that's why I use the example. Okay. <laughs> the difference in their times from being great to being disastrous is one second. So if the suit makes a one second difference and one second is all the difference you need, well yeah. then we have no idea who's faster. No, we no, only I know still. who's faster in that particular no, suit. You're, you're I'm sorry, let me just jump in real quick, because mm -hmm. you're leaving out the important, that, that might be true, and it's, it's, it's part of the discussion that people all, all, often have about NASCAR as well. Like, oh, your car's faster. Stop talking about this, your car's faster. Let's okay. all drive the same car and see. Um, so that's, that's part of it. Um, but what they're saying here is that we had suits that were presumably like other people's suits before, and it was still Under Armour. Nike made them mm. in 2002, but Under Armour made the, the world championship I suits see. that they did well in, so Under Armour has come through before. They added some stuff, and maybe this addition made these suits worse than everybody else's, and that fixing it would just put everybody essentially on or, the same playing field. Or, as the scientist in me cannot help but say, we are focusing on one of like 50 variables and how, like you were well, saying they'd before. Well, eliminate one by having them wear all the same outfit. Change that one, see what happens. But don't yeah. make this huge media firestorm around it's, it must be the suit. It could be one of so yeah. many things that no. come with competing in Russia. Sorry, I'm not buying sorry, it. it's the suit. It's the suit. Well, that's it's fine. The then, then going we forward, enough sports is the suit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and yeah. by the way, what John is saying is really important. Not have every U.S. Olympic athlete wear yeah, the right. same suit. Yeah. Everybody, all Everybody. of them have to wear the same suit. Otherwise, we have no idea who's faster. I agree to an extent, but one thing that I know about, you know, I have a very good friend who's a professional dancer, for example, and they are so specific about their shoes because yes, from the outside, for example, everybody wearing the same suit is going to eliminate variability, but you have different physiology. And so somebody who has a different shaped foot, for example, in dance, will need a different brand sure. of shoe. They'll need a different, and you see it all the yeah, time in professional basketball. They're all wearing the same uniform, but a lot of them have different shoes on, and that's because they have different feet. I'm just saying if, if one team had shoes that allowed them to have a significantly higher free throw percentage or something, they wouldn't allow that, or if it made them 25% faster, they wouldn't allow it. Performance enhancing right. clothing. Exactly, you yeah. can't have that much variability based on a simple piece of equipment. Right. That's I why mean, it's hard for me to buy this story, to be honest. Yeah, but if, oh. they, if this mesh, if they did something that created a drag, and yeah. then everybody on the team is wearing it, yeah. that strikes me as that's that that yeah, that's that true. reads in the realm of possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and look, it, John's right. If you have cleats in football that allow you to get seven more meters every time you run, we can't have it. <laughs>